Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas, on Friday, March the 20th, and welcome to our video commentary. I don't know how many of you had a chance to see Friday's press conference. Uh, this is that daily press conference that President Trump has been doing where he's got Vice President Pence, where he's got uh, some of the other experts like Dr. Fauci, who I've come to love here in these press conferences, and Dr. Burks, uh, the other lady uh, who is an expert on these things. And then, of course, he's got different people that join him, depending on the topics. Today, he had uh, Secretary Pompeo, who, in my opinion, is one of the key members of his administration, one of the ones that I like the most. And there was a point during the press conference where he had a, uh, an encounter with a reporter. All I remember that the reporter's name was Peter. Since I was listening on the radio, I don't, I don't even remember the guy's face. But anyway, they were on the radio. I was listening to him on the radio. And he had quite an encounter with this reporter. He basically told the reporter, hey, you're too negative and you're too partisan in your coverage. And my guess is there were millions of people across the country who were very happy to see that. Look, we want the press to ask questions. I've always been a very strong believer that a free country needs a strong, free press. But there's no question that a lot of these reporters have gone from being reporters to being political activists. And I think the way that the media has covered the Trump administration, just compare it with the way they covered the Obama administration. When Obama was president, Obama walked on water. With President Trump, everything has to be criticized. He's not even given credit for some of the things that he's done. I mean, they don't even cut him any slack in this rather difficult thing that we're going through. And I think a lot of Americans are fed up with it. And my message to the media is, look, we want you guys to be good reporters. The country needs questions. The country needs to know these things. But the country does not need partisanship and sensationalism. And the country certainly does not need a bunch of political activists pretending to be reporters. And that's unfortunately what is happening uh, more and more these days. Thank you for watching. We have all of these on YouTube, on Twitter, and on my blog. And if today is your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.